So the classic event has finally ended, and I'm here to share my thoughts and opinions on this damn event. Disclaimer, you are entitled to your own opinion, okay? This is just mine. You can enjoy the event. You can hate it. It's up to you. It's your opinion. In the last video, I started a war between people liking it and hating it, so that was fun. So yeah, I'm not gonna hold you back. We're gonna get right into this because, well, I have a lot to talk about for this because the event fucking sucked. Before I start, I did not play these three games, so they get a didn't play out of 10 because because I joined Adopt Me, and immediately I was like, this sucks, and I just gave up, and I didn't play the other ones because they just didn't sound appealing to me. You may notice that Toilet Tower Defense was not on that list. I will get to that. <laughs> I played all of these with my friend, and uh, we really just didn't have a good time. All right, so let's start. So we got Blade Ball, two out of 10. It took way too long. I think Blade Ball was the only game in the event that was like, oh, this event goes on five days. Let's try to extend the event in our game to like five days. Let's make sure they play every single day. They offered daily login rewards. They offered many things you could buy. And it just felt like it took so long. The longest part was a quest that said to find all the ticks in all of the maps. That one was just chance. And it took three actual hours to do that damn event. I don't mind playing Blade Ball, but it felt like such a cash grab too. You join the game and there's like 50 pop-ups on your screen. Like it looks like those simulators or obbies where you have all the options to buy all the gear and stuff on the sides, except amplified by like three times. So yeah, that gets a two out of 10 in my opinion. Livetopia, four out of 10. Believe it or not, I actually didn't really have anything against this game. It was just the same thing again and again, and it took a little bit to find stuff. Holy shit, is that Peter Griffin? Liv Topia took a little bit because my friend didn't get the same ticks I did, so we spent maybe like an hour trying to find that. But basically, you ever play Bloxburg? You know the pizza delivery minigame? It's just that. It, it wasn't bad because I actually liked that minigame, and you know what? It brought back PTSD of the grocery store that I worked at, so you know what? That's fun. So yeah, that gets a 4 out of 10. Dragon Adventures, 5 out of 10. In the last video I made, I didn't even know what Dragon Adventures was. I hopped in the game. I actually enjoyed the game. The only problem I have with it is that, one, some of the egg spawns were absolute bullshit. Like, some would just spawn in caves, and, well, I had no idea where it was. Just another thing. This was me being entirely stupid. I accept it, and it shouldn't affect the rating. It took me way too long to realize that the ticks' eggs that would spawn had little glowy bits around them, which made it so much easier to find after realizing that. But in one of the worlds, it took me, like, 30, 40 minutes just to look for one single egg. It was in some bullshit spawn in a cave somewhere that I had no idea about. But I'll give it a 5 out of 10, because I actually kind of liked the game. It was it was fun. I had a good time playing it besides finding the eggs, but it was okay. Dress to impress. Why out of 10? This game, like, made no damn sense. This game took a while because the last ticks I was trying to find was inside of the fucking hat stand or clothing rack or something. I didn't know it was there. I just walked into there because I seen a sparkle and I was like, is it in the wall or something? And well, I, it was, yeah. And also, why was the actual event literally just Roblox only up. Why was that in Dress to Impress? It doesn't make any sense to me, so I'm giving it a Y out of 10, because it just didn't seem like that belong there. Arsenal, 7 out of 10. Arsenal goes way too hard on these events. I'm gonna be honest. Arsenal, you are amazing and whatnot, but you are going too hard for a shit as the event is. I, I had a good time playing it. The only thing I have is that my friend and I didn't discover that there was ticks until, like, the end of the game, and we had to play it through three times, which was a little annoying, because you have to play it solo, you had to use the pistol only, which we didn't know. Uh, a lot of that stuff. Gunfight Arena, 4 out of 10. The only thing I have to pick with this game is the other team that I played against with my friend had no real people. It was just bots. I don't know if that's game design or if nobody wanted to play on the other team, but my team was full of real players. I don't know if that was scripted in or whatnot, but it was kind of not fun. A Dusty Trip, 5 out of 10 for that one. It was just average. It wasn't really boring. It wasn't really fun. It was just kind of like, okay, I'm gonna hop in and figure it out. Beast Swarm Simulator. Okay, 8 out of 10. I actually really enjoyed this one unironically. I think it was my favorite out of the event. It had a fresh new twist on the classic Beast Swarm game, which to be fair, is one of the most classic games that are in this damn event. Clip it. Negative 10 out of 10. Fuck you. It sucked. Restaurant Tycoon 2. 7 out of 10. So I, I, I've played this game a lot already, and uh, I guess I should keep walking around so that way you guys can get stimulated. I'm not putting Subway Surfers on, on screen this time. Restaurant Tycoon 2, I'll give that 7 out of 10 to just because I have played it before, and and uh, I had a lot of progress on it, so it didn't take that long at all because my restaurant was just packed with customers at all times. And basically, it was just a waiting game because I already had the auto collect 
tips game pass from playing it because I actually used to play the game and had fun with it. So it was just kind of a waiting game to wait for the customers and it didn't take long at all. Tower Defense Simulator, three out of 10. I didn't finish this one, neither did my friend. The third level was a little too difficult and we kept messing up there and well, we just kind of gave up and we're, we were gonna come back to it, but we never did. So I'm not gonna go too hard in this game. I'm just gonna say that that was a little difficult. Last, but absolutely least because this game fucking sucked. Toilet Tower Defense makes me want to off myself out of 10. By far the actual worst game. Not just because I hate Skibbity Toilet. No, literally the worst game. Okay, so, so the starter unit that you get in that game does 20 to 200 damage. The stuff in the fucking event has 3000 health. How are you supposed to beat that with the starter unit? You have to have previous playtime or start playing more to get units for that game in order to do the damn event. My friend and I lucked out and people were randomly trading us stuff and we got free units, which really helped. And yes, we did play this because I recorded an hour and a half video on this damn game. And yes, it does lose points because it's Skiwity Toilet. I hate it and it is so fucking bad. So the quest for that game didn't count for both people. We didn't realize that till after we played medium and I had the one challenge done and my friend was at 200 because apparently it doesn't count for both people, which was annoying, and I, I guess I understand it, but how are you supposed to solo that damn thing whenever the starter unit does 20 to 200 damage and the things have 3,000 health? It just doesn't work. I am 20 years old. I'm yelling about a fucking virtual toilet game, and guess what? I'm pissed about that game. So originally we did have to play toilet tower defense for the hunt and there was three of us there. So it was kind of easy. We just started out fresh and we worked our way up. It was still a pain in the ass, but we had a couple of units and I thought to myself, oh, I'm never going to play this game again. I'll just give some random person my stuff. <laughs> well, guess how fucking wrong I was. And uh, I have a strong feeling that we're going to have to play it in the next event again. If this is how Roblox events are going to be, I don't even know if I want to play them. <laughs> Which leads me to my next thing. Overall, I would give the event a 2 out of 10. Controversial, I know. Some of you really like this. Some of you really hate it. I'm more on the hate scale because I just didn't enjoy the event. I actually played it too, and I just didn't enjoy it. It just kind of felt bad. This event didn't feel classic at all. Sure, the hub looks classic, but it looks classic. It doesn't feel classic. Whenever you have games that came out three months ago in the event for classic Roblox, it doesn't feel classic. Another thing, a lot of people were saying, oh, people thought there was going to be classic games here. That's why they hate the event. You can't just add classic games because the developers don't actively work on the games and you have to add new code and all that and they have to apply for the event. Like, yes, I am a little upset about that. But let me show you one of the adverts advertisements that I got for said classic event and you be the judge if this shows that there was going to be toilet tower defense in games that came out months ago in this damn event so I got this ad right here for this event right here let me play it Where in this does it show Toilet Tower Defense or any of the other games? All I see is classic Roblox items, a green base plate, the classic logo, may I add, and the classic Roblox song. Where was any of the stuff going to hint that we were going to have these shitty games in it? This advertised to me that it was going to be strictly classic. What happened to that? Oh yeah, and people are upset because Roblox won't bring the oof back, which that's literally a staple of classic Roblox. Pay the poor guy 10K and get the damn thing back. You're a billion dollar company, 10K's pocket change to you. Don't ask why this is liked by this guy. You know what? I'll show you. What? That's what it is. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> my friend sent it to me and I was like, that's pretty silly. I'll follow it. So I get it daily in my feed. This guy's name is Skibbity for life. I hate you. So there's really my opinions on the event. And uh, I, I don't know. I really just didn't like this one. Hopefully future ones are better. Personally, in my opinion, after playing this, originally I said the hunt was worse. I'm starting to think the hunt was better at this point. It was just like, okay, we're going to make an event, slap it in some games. That'll be fine. This guy's going to hit me with a rocket launcher and send me off the edge. I'm pretty sure because you can do that in this game. This event is trying to be something. It's uh, it's classic Roblox. Nothing about it feels classic. This is trying to appeal to the classic audience and make it feel like classic Roblox when in reality, it doesn't feel like that at all. It's trying to be classic when it's not. Something just felt wrong about playing Toy 
toilet tower defense and seeing classic Roblox stuff in it. Literally, the people watching Skibbity Toilet weren't alive back in the day of classic Roblox. It, it just doesn't make any damn sense. And also, I was banned for like the majority of the event, but I'm not gonna let that cloud my judgment overall. I, I, I'm still a little upset with your Roblox for that one, but you know, it is what it is. Oh yeah, funny thing. Uh, I forgot to mention, they emailed me saying, oh, if you don't buy premium by May 25th, we're gonna, we're gonna take all your items off sale that you were selling. Motherfucker, I, I got unbanned on May 26th at 7 o'clock. I couldn't buy premium by the 25th. But in the end, this is just my opinion. You're entitled to your own and uh, I guess have a war in the comments or something. I don't know. Tell me if you liked the event. Tell me if you hated it. Also, Roblox said to save your ticks and your Robux points because watch out for ways to spend them in the future, as they said, or something like that. I don't know. Let me check. Oh, okay. I can't even check anymore. That's cool. There might be ways to spend it in the future, so that's why I'm saving it. I didn't spend any of my ticks, keep in mind. I, I haven't bought any of this. Oh, yeah. With the rocket launcher, I, I'm sure you understood. You probably stood, like, right where that guy is, and some nerd with a rocket launcher came up and just pushed you in. Let me show you something that happened. So I was playing with my friend here, and uh, we were sitting in front of the portals, and, well, this happened. Oh, he just knocked me into a portal. <laughs> He immediately got sent right into a portal, and I'm sure that's happened to you guys too, because these freaking rats with their damn rocket launchers. But yeah, like I said, have your own opinions. Don't take my word as fact. I know a lot of you were upset with the last video I made, and believe it or not, I, I predicted this this event would suck. Even after playing it, I still think it sucks. I think it's worse now that I played it. If I can, I'll post the toilet tower defense video, but if it's like taking five or six days and the events are already that far gone, like, I'm not gonna post it, I'm not gonna worry about it. But keep in mind, we did suffer. And that's where I'm gonna end this video. I felt like making this because, well, just felt needed. So yeah, well, bye-bye. <laughs>